the issn.org. Sun Warrior believes that plants provide the cleanest and most powerful foods, rich in antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and phytonutrients. Our bodies crave real foods, especially in this age where we heavily process everything we eat, stripping out all of the benefits and nutrition well before we have a chance to even use them. Illuminate your body, mind, and the planet with Sun Warrior. To learn more, visit them at sunwarrior.com. That's sunwarrior.com. Did you know there are over 3,000 kinds of snakes? And most, being shy, pose no threat to humans. But they are still feared and killed, even for frivolous fashion. In his poem Snake, D. H. Lawrence marvels at a snake drinking from a water trough. He succumbs to irrational fear and impulsively throws a log at the very animal he admired moments before. He writes, And immediately I regretted it. I thought how paltry, how vulgar, what a mean act. I despised myself and the voices of my accursed human education, and I wished he would come back, my snake, for he seemed to me again like a king, like a king in exile, uncrowned in the underworld. This is Ingrid Newkirk with Peter, reminding us it's easy to be kind by choosing fake snake over real skin for belts, bags, and shoes. Pick me up, love. Pick me up, love. Come on, come on, come on, love. Pick me up. Welcome back to One Life Radio. This is Bernadette with Diamond Gray, Lexi Brinkley, Aviana Babientos, and Daniel Tag. I want to give a special shout out to our sponsors and mention that J.B. Handley is in this this issue, this publication of uh, the November December issue, 2018. Of course, I got it a little beforehand, but it's got the uh, the story in there about vaccine immune activation and autism. The Well Being Journal. It's also got Anthony William Liver Rescue. I talk about Anthony William all the time on the show. Uh, Medical Medium is one of his books, and the uh, Healing of the Thyroid, and uh, he's just an incredible author as well and doctor. But uh, I want to let everyone know that you can listen or you can go to our website oneliferadio.com to download and listen. To our podcast or subscribe to our newsletter. You can go to iHeartMedia.com to listen live from your mobile device or download the free iHeartRadio app and listen to us from anywhere in the world. A big shout out to our sponsors who bring this programming to you. Great companies that care about you, like Sun Warrior. You can get Sun Warrior at Vitamin Shop or put it in your smoothie at Smoothie King. Sun Warrior is a premium, all natural, raw superfood company dedicated to providing the best vegan plant based protein powder and supplements, I say, in the world. Uh, They're first class. They're 100% organic. Check them out. The H-Hemp Company as well. Use the code OLR for 20% off. Your first order made only with premium hemp cannabinoid genetics, not hemp used for seeds, protein, or rope. And, of course, sunlight and infrared saunas. I was in mine again last night. (laughs) I've been there every night now. Uh, Anti-aging? I did do (laughs) anti-aging again. Gotcha. I don't know what's up with me. But check them out. Uh, they're amazing. It really is a place to heal, a place to anti-age, a place to reflect, and a place to invest in you. And, of course, Paleo Magazine. Visit them at paleomagonline.com to find a store near you and pick up a copy. And as I said, the Wellbeing Journal, uh, heralding the integration of medicine with physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and social aspects of health. Wellbeing Journal is now available in both print and digital version. version. Virgin. 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 <laughs> Order online at wellbeingjournal.com. Okay. Daniel Tag. <laughs> How are you doing? Doing good. <laughs> I've got a case of the sillies. You you know the private joke, right? That I'm <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right I know. I, I, I do. I, I smiled <laughs> when you when you said that. I got it. Yeah, I, got I don't it. know where that came. Do you want to share it with our listeners? No. Let's not go. If you're there. a regular, you know. <laughs> if you're a regular, yeah. you if know. If you're a regular, there you know. Go. Be a regular yeah. and you'll find out. Yeah, yeah. yeah be a, yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> so always love having you in studio. Daniel Tag is an orthokinetic specialist trainer at Telos Fitness Center. He is certified in Orthokinetics, the biomechanics of resistance training. He is a licensed massage therapist.
therapist, holds belts in three different martial arts systems, and he was a wild land firefighter. I love having this guy on the show. Uh, so, Daniel, we're talking about comp, or continuing actually, talking about compound exercise versus isolated exercise from last week's show. So, Quickly, what is the difference between compound exercise and isolated exercise? Compound means there's multiple joints moving. It can mm-hmm. be a one leg or a two legged thing, or the the isolated is you is one joint moving. Just it can be bilateral, being both biceps or both elbows flexing at the same time, or just one. But it's one joint versus multiple joints. Okay, and so why would someone want to do compound exercises? So the compound exercises are going to be more your squats, your power cleans, more the calorie burners, and the ones that are going to put on more bulk immediately, and you know just in a much more efficient way. And you can lift heavier loads being bilateral. Okay. Or and multi joint actions. Uh, wh- okay, and so why would someone uh, uh, um, opposite of that? Why would someone want to do isolated exercises? The isolated helps you kind of make sure that each thing within the joint movement is working the way it needs to be, really concentrating on a singular thing. Like if you're doing like a row where you're just pulling your whole arm back. Right, I was bi- going to ask for the, some examples. The bicep is working there, right? But you don't necessarily know it's working. If you want to isolate it, then you just do a bicep exercise, which would be curls, right? And you're mm-hmm. just going through elbow flexion there. So if you wanted to do a row and get a lot of biceps in it, but you don't know if the biceps really working, you go back there and do an isolated thing. And for a lot of bodybuilders, if you want to really focus on just getting that one muscle a lot mm-hmm. bigger, isolated is a good way to do that too. But the bigger reason for me is if you if you find a weakness, isolate it in a singular joint motion to make sure it's getting stronger, then put it back into the multiple joint action, and then it should be uh, doing its function much more efficiently. You know, you made me think of something. I don't know if I've ever asked this, but uh, what are some of the causes of uh, like a, a, a particular area being weakened? So a lot of it, it, it or, or, ha- or suffering from weakness. Yes. So it's it's it comes from compensation, but the, where the compensation comes from, I could be a million different things. It could be you twisted your ankle, and now certain things aren't as stable as the ankle, and every, other things that the knee had to take over, and then they get stressed out, and then other things have to work to get those stressors, and then it leads up the chain, and then before you know it, it it you know, your neck hurts, and it was actually because of an ankle injury. So there could be that one thing, but usually it's that, you know, when you get a brace, you walk with, you know, a, a mm-hmm. cane or something or, mm-hmm. you know, the crutches or whatever, you learn a new movement pattern, right? Yeah. And your body categorizes that, and you get rid of it, and your muscles work, but now you learn that muscle patterns to kind of protect that. So yeah. you learn that other movement pattern to protect that muscle. Say it was the hamstring. I, I tore my hamstring That's once, what happened right? to me, and it so, jacked me up for years. Exactly. So it can be coming from that, and then that can really lead to other things throughout the body. It could be the little toe that's affected. It could be the shoulder. It could be the neck. It's all these other little things. And there's usually a whole bunch of little things. Hey, I twisted my ankle here, or hey, I slept wrong here, and I'm. it kind of hurts to kind of put that joint in that position so I compensate. And it just it runs down. So there's a million different reasons why. The main thing is that you need to distinguish it and isolate things and make sure they're fitting back into that movement pattern correctly. Mm-hmm. Is it? I was just going to ask you about <laughs> about exercising barefoot or uh, you know with your athletic shoes on. So there's, there's both, benefits there's to both, isn't exactly, there? Exactly. And you need to go be looked at someone that knows the whole body, not just the foot, and find out if that's a good thing for you or not. I actually had a a client just asked me that, and I, I maybe really? I can talk about it next week. Well, I, I work out barefoot all the time. That's why I asked. But yeah, we're we're out of time. Yeah. That was uh, thank you so much. What a fabulous show! Yeah, it was uh, a great show. It was, wasn't it? Very educational. Very educational. Uh, so uh, once again, I want to give a shout out to JB Handley's website. Uh, go to jbhandleyblog.com. That's H A N D L E Y. jbhandleyblog.com. Everyone, thank you so much for listening. You get one body. You get one mind and you get one life. Get out there today and make the most of it.